imagine it's you go true. somewhere, you're thinking, ah, this guy's going to run so and so pee for me. You get there the next thing, he release a German shepherd on your ass. $200 million. <laughs> that dog. Ah, will you do it? That's just for money. Okay. <laughs> I can't fucking dog do. I will live with the trauma forever. I don't think any amount of therapy will I personally that. the moment to be like, sir, please. <laughs> go cook you. How? <laughs> how do I st- I don't know how to begin? Oh because my god, they're tears no. in my eyes. <laughs> it's it's so cute. Cute. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to another episode of the Loki Relatable Podcast. Loki Relatable. My name is Valerie. My name is Tamara. And let's get into it. Yeah. Get into it. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> did you see that Doja Cat like shaved her eyebrows? Her eyebrows. Her and I'm yeah. very happy. She did it on live too. She did it on live? Yeah. I, I love her so much. I love her as well. The chaos is, is chaos. Um, I started listening to her during lockdown. And she had just released her, her album, Pink. Or what's it called? I don't remember. She is has it this the one album. that with woman. Woman, woman, be your No, woman is not on the album. Oops. It has <laughs> um. Get into it. Yeah. <laughs> it's on the album. <laughs> um. I know it's the first one. Yeah. Not that one. She has yeah. That she pink has jam. Album she, has. she has just bangers. That's what she has. Streets with Gucci Mane and she has a bunch of songs on that oh album that God. I really like. And I like Memory how she moves. Me. I like her. Old age. I wanna, you never know. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I remember what I wanted to say, but then, um, yeah. How are you feeling? I'm all right. I'm alive. I'm good. Lagos is trying it, but the devil is alive. Devil always has to be lying, Lagos. Always. How are you, dear? Alive. <laughs> that's, a, that's, a, that's a condition. That's good. <laughs> um, you know, so you should take each 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 day as it comes. As it comes, we stay alive. Be your best foot forward, you know. So for the best kind of situation. Mm-hmm. Um, so I feel like a milkmaid in this. Yeah, yeah. and then we're matching again. Oh, I like it. You see, I would say we should plan from here on out the m- outfits, but we're too good. That's too uh, hard. Honestly. I don't think we can plan it. I think it, it's best when it happens like, like a naturally. So, so, um, yeah. It's like a good luck episode. Mm-hmm. Speaking of, what is, you know, when we ask what's the episode, it means. I remember, th- I remember this is, one. You know, <laughs> I remember this one because I'm a bit. Uh, do I want to talk about this? It's on a camera? bit rough. It's a bit rough. Do I want to talk about this on camera? Yeah, sure. I'd fuck not. Um, so our topic today is favors from men. Favors from men. Um, might I just say mm-hmm. right off the bat that when we talk about favors from men, there are only two types. There is the consensual one, and then there is like the one that like uh, is not is not con- is not consensual. This one is not consensual favor. In the sense that, like, Just imagine one, if you want to no, imagine like it, like favors doesn't have to be cash, right? Yeah. So like, imagine like you wanted to like be in a movie or yeah. something, and someone tells you like you have to like sleep with them for you to get a role. It's the favor okay, from your okay, man. Okay, okay, And like you'd have rather not. So I'm just jumping right into it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's fucking go. <laughs> That's why I said there are two types. We can break it down and like get into it, but I think there are two types. I mean, first of all, like, I think we want to establish. God, this podcast is going to get me into trouble. No, let's establish one thing early. Mm-hmm. There is no problem with it. Like uh, receiving, like receiving favors from yeah, anybody, any gender that yeah, wants like, to give you a favor. Yeah, like that is <laughs> fine. Doing you should like you should be able to do things for your friends, you your should. family. Like you favors should. from favors shouldn't be as big of a deal as society makes it seem. It really shouldn't. Yeah. Also, men seem to also have this. So you know how there's like a double standard, how like men can be whores and do whatever and do this and that, and like it's fine and women can't. Mm -hmm. There's another double standard I really like, which is that men seem to think they should provide for a woman because Mm. they're the big man. And the patriarchy, the patriarchy is a double-edged sword. It's a double-edged sword, but that double standard, I'm mad. If you think that you want to be providing favors, because it's very like when you think of like favors from women, that's not a thing. Like that, people don't. They, it's a thing that exists, but people don't think about it yeah. as automatically as they think they of when they, they think they of a transactional know. relationship. You're always going to think it's a man giving woman money, because it's like a double standard. Yeah. So I mean, the same way men go along with being allowed to be hoes, I think it's okay for women to go around 
collecting favors. Yeah, if I you think, don't mind it. I think sometimes I think that's the part that that's the part of patriarchy that men hate. Mm-hmm. Because they like the whole, they like like the whole concept dynamic. of they like <laughs> my dear. Mm-hmm. They like the whole concept of being the head, mm-hmm. the provider, mm-hmm. the alpha Hunter. male. <laughs> Yeah, everything, <laughs> but like, like you can now be mad at like, when I want to be the press accept the yeah, neck as I you think, call it. I think this is even like a further <laughs> breakdown. But like, <coughs> excuse me, I think this is a further breakdown. But this also ties into guys that will meet you. Mm-hmm. <coughs> excuse me. Drink some water. Yes, I think I should drink some water. Yeah, it's the patriarchy trying to choke her. Hmm. Demons. <laughs> you know, some guys will meet you mm-hmm. and they will try to talk to you mm-hmm. and every single thing they do to try to get your attention or whatever, they use money. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Right off the bat. Okay. Right off the bat. Nobody cool. has them. You That's drive this car, come. you do this, you do that, you do this, you do that, you do this. Great. Yeah. If I now decide to bill you, I don't understand why you are now sobbing me on your story that why am I billing you? But you you have presented yourself as that kind of person. I mean you want me you've you you if you especially if you cannot afford the billing. Yeah. You have presented yourself like as you some, can. That's, that's how you step yes, to me. Yes, you have stepped you didn't to call me like me someone. Me. Like because if all of those things don't didn't matter, then you wouldn't be that's doing that. That's you would have said hi. God of mercy. So <laughs> this thing it disgusts me Which thing? because Which thing when men do this. Yes, because they now start saying, "Oh, she's a gold digger. Nigga, you ain't got no gold." <laughs> <laughs> no, what makes me laugh is when it's like men that are like, can you I, imagine this girl wanted me to take her to see far best cinema Stop and it. buy her Please don't even say one something. hot dog, Please don't let me one popcorn, here. and two Coca Cola. They will not be angry. Can you imagine? You are feeling cool because you can buy cinema ticket and hot dog. You are a, you are a scally one. You know, also, it's a useless I person. also think that, like, and I don't even blame some men. Child, no. But I think they also think that, like, like, them taking you out to dinner. Yes. Or whatever. It's is automatically like, like a, if you. like a thing. Like, even in content. But do, we were watching The Office. And like remember Coco, when Coco Stanley said, literally said, you have to put out because you've taken because somebody to, to dinner. You're not going to eat. Like, why? But that used to be, like, the... That's so dead. So, I'm not going to lie. When it comes to favors from men, personally, I... I tend to not want to I enter just, the conversation. You know, I've said I have, like, a weird power dynamic thing. Mm. I don't like knowing anybody can tell me, yeah. shut the fuck up, bitch. It will, I will have yeah. to murder you next time I'm in prison. It's a whole thing. It's going to be rough. But... I love using men for certain things. That one is <coughs> not favors. That one is you offered. So, like, you know, Lagos is expensive. Slow to just look at the Tamara chicken is almost two million it's naira. Just look at <laughs> it's just ridiculous. Honestly. If somebody say, "Hey, I like you. Let me take you to dinner," and he's a man, you want not Is it? I mean, is that even a favor or really? is that it? There it's you dinner. go. It's just dinner. Is it? Um, I also like to say that um, favors for men necessarily doesn't have to be a bad thing. I feel it's not. I think especially um, if they offered. I, I I I like I always say, um, I covered. I was wow, co- covering wow. the bottle. Why are you people doing? Who's giving blood? I was covering the bottle. Yeah, yeah, I was covering the bottle. Always um, I was covering the bottle. And I said this. So, um, I always say that um, mm-hmm. my love language, my top love language is gift giving. Yeah. So. I I oh, oh I it's and it's not just in receiving like in giving us. Well. I also enjoy giving gifts. Like yeah. I get really excited for like especially people that I'm close to, and I'm so upset. like I get really excited for like their baby. birthdays and like I get very excited about what I'm gonna do, what I'm gonna buy for them. So it's like I've outgrown that shyness stage where. I feel a bit embarrassed because somebody is doing stuff yeah. for me. Because like, why? Can I don't feel not? embarrassed. I just don't like it. Everybody, everybody. No, but like, I told you, I, I prefer for a very to be time, a sugar mom. I no, don't want anyone to have For a very long time, I used to like feel embarrassed. Me. Like, I'm just like, oh, why are you doing this for me? Oh my goodness. Yeah. But like, no, nigga, yeah. 
Because like yeah. even if I could also ultimately do it for myself, like doing you doing it for me, it's nice. Yeah. It's it's something that I enjoy receiving and like it's like why should I not pretend like I don't? Right? Well my own biggest issue is I hate that we exist in a culture and a society where most men, especially when it comes to like them putting you on to work and earning like actual money. That one I can never. They always I want can to try never. And I die phased. I can never. They always because I always, never want. Always, always, I want like always, 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 always. I know men why? are so petty. They are so small. So I feel like it's when I'm like winning an Oscar or something fancy. One yeah, more, first one person will not come <laughs> with one dirty the sun article. It's me that gave her her first big break. I die fake. I, I can't. I just, so I work wise. I try and not. But like, I mean, if you really think you can take me out and impress me enough that you might be able to potentially get in my pants, I'm not gonna outrightly tell you no unless you're very disgusting. Like, you yeah. mean, I want me if you like. But like, yeah, ultimately, like just the two. I don't like. I don't it. like it. So I, I wish like yeah. I wish like give me give me a fair chance. Mm-hmm. And like because that way you will not even be able to know what you're actually good at, what you're not good at. Like if you never got a fair shot at everything, you just think, mm, "Am I fucking my way through life?" <laughs> <laughs> That's what I can't do it for. I can't do it. I can't do it for important things. I can't. Like it's like. Um, have you ever been like you know in this in this rough industry in which we work? Please have don't ever ask me this question. Propositioned. I don't know. Girl, you can just say yes or no. You don't have to say who. I don't know. <laughs> I'm afraid. <laughs> but like, yes, I have. It happens. It happens. It's very awkward. I don't like that it has. It's very awkward. I don't like that it has. Well, I guess that's the way the cookie crumbles. It is. It was a producer I thought was actually my friend. And then he like... Go by. In, my <laughs> house, in his house. In his house, in his he was like house. giving me like drinks. He said his studio was in the back. I should come and see his studio. Then at one point, as we were walking to the back, I realized, is there a studio? <laughs> because it's so close to me and my bum bum. And he like popped me to go inside. And I was like, ah, hello, I a boss go. <laughs> and I had to like escape. And I've never worked with him since then, but we still talk. But he doesn't, like there's so many like creepy older men. Basically, if you're watching this and you're an older man, like above 40, and I stopped working with you, it's because like you were creepy. But I don't think they even I like. You know, I can't even close my mouth. I'm just like, It's what? very creepy. You know, there was so also one woman. Let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> let me tell you some, let me tell you, let me tell you a funny story that happened to me right. <laughs> um i think it was in like 20 blah, 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 blah. 19 mm-hmm. just yesterday i used to do a lot of red carpets mm-hmm. actually i have two stories <laughs> i used to do a lot of red carpets and actually just one one oh, story and i was working these red carpets and I've been doing interviews, like a bunch of interviews. Like, I was tired. Yeah. So, my producer told me that I should go and chill. Mm-hmm. So, I was chilling um, around one of the cocktail tables. Mm-hmm. I was leaning on a cocktail table. Was holding my, I was still holding my microphone. Mm-hmm. Just kind of, like, chilling. Um, a few minutes after, my producer came and she took the microphone from me. Because she wanted to line up interviews. So, she wanted the microphone mm-hmm. as some sort of branding. So I was just chilling, waiting. I was on my phone. I think I just posted a picture on Instagram or something. Mm-hmm. I just wanted—I just wanted to describe my mood <laughs> and how I was She's minding the scene and how I was minding my goddamn <laughs> business. <laughs> standing, standing there, and then this you know, this middle-aged man approaches me and goes, "Hello, what's your name?" Mm-hmm. And I said, "Valerie." How are you? He says he's fine, thank you. And then he starts just talking about rubbish. <laughs> like <laughs> nothing he was saying really made sense. So I wasn't really paying attention. <laughs> so and I said, Oh, I have to go. My producer is calling me. He wasn't really saying anything. <laughs> I think he just started talking about the events, about <laughs> random things. Just just started was yawning. Yawning. Because I initially thought he wanted to do an interview. So I just started yawning. So I was just like, I don't understand what this guy is saying. Long story short, when I now said, oh, I think my producer is calling me and I want to, wanted to walk away. He now said, well, he has been talking to me since and he hasn't seen anybody try to call me. That's 
<laughs> Sorry, your monitoring see, spirit. That he can see <clears throat> that he can see. I'm just trying to escape the conversation, mm-hmm. and that's a pity because he is <laughs> a Nollywood. Pity. He's a Nollywood director, oh. and he wanted to put me in one of his films. Oh. And now I've just lost the opportunity. He was shocked. He was like, and Popo, he wanted to put you inside." <laughs> You know, I'd, I'd never looked at someone with so much more disgust than I looked at that man that day. And I'm sure that he regretted what he said. Because it's like, first of all, you're not even a Hollywood director like that because I don't even recognize you. <laughs> like, I actually do not. And like, I've interviewed a lot of them to yeah, know. so you would know them. I don't understand why I do not recognize you. <laughs> so I don't know which Hollywood you are in. But first of all, get out. And even <laughs> if... Like, even though, even, even if I know, <laughs> who, first of all, who told you I want to be an actress? <laughs> who? Whomst? It's the audacity. I was just like, would you get to my friends? But imagine if I was like, I was someone that wanted to act. Yes, now. In that moment, you would think about it. I, I'll be like, ah, oh, sorry, sir. You know, that's you an think about easy it. way for you to That's like, why I don't judge it. babes that actually do it. Sometimes you're like, look, sexuality is all we have I sometimes. Don't judge them, so it's because like, it's not their fault. It's not their fault. And I look at some, there's certain people, especially in this Nigeria, in this Nollywood, that you look at their careers and you're like, fair enough, you know. <laughs> like, you know who they fucked, you know what they've done. And then you are seeing, there's some that is tragic, it's not working. I even also but think that, some is like, it, no, it, without enough. even going through the extent of like actually even having sex. I think if you are not like generally like ask kissing, yeah, that ask kissing thing it tire yeah. me. Yeah, because one thing I'm not gonna do, Charlie, is, is kiss anybody's goddamn ass. There's no need. Like, uh, brother, there's no need. I'd rather, but then, I'd rather just do my. But it does hold. I rather do my own slow and steady. Climb. Do you not find that it holds you back a bit? Yes, that, yeah. that's literally why I said I'd rather do my slow and steady climb. Yeah. It's okay. Yeah, it's very I don't like the smell of shit. It's rather stinky. <laughs> <laughs> no. It is. And no. like, like, talking about favors from men, and like, even if it's not job related or if, if it's not romantic and it's job related, it's like, there's also the fact that when you refuse certain advances, some people turn to automatic gatekeepers. Yeah. I, they now I, start trying to block your spirit. That's the one I don't understand. Yeah, they will now start talking to people about you. Like, is that how much... <laughs> I'm important to you that it's, like why are you that pressed? Especially if you're in your, such a position of power where there's so many girls throwing themselves at you. Why is it little old me that has you so bothered? Little dick, I mean little man. You know, <laughs> it's so crazy that human beings can think that they are in such a position that they can destroy the possibility of you having because in the back in the day they could do you know how many Hollywood actresses are coming out now saying it's Weinstein I know but like he blocked that's a next level of narcissism it's fair that like you would literally ruin someone's life because they refused like refuse advances from you that's so sick it's very low it's very small yeah it's like how do you like how why would you like why would you just like do that I don't know. It's a whole power thing. It usually comes with these kinds of... Men. You know, what I always say is... Sorry, I'm so sorry to cut you off. Mm-hmm. But, like, this sugar baby and sugar daddy dynamic is literally... Is... I know people frown upon it and they have their opinions about it. If that's everybody is happy, it makes sense. Yeah, but, like, I think that that is usually the ideal scenario where you can actually say you're receiving favors it makes from sense. a man or from men. I love the idea of sugar babies and sugar daddies. Like, I don't see why if love I it. want to... I don't see why... Also, you read my mind. That's what I was going to say. <laughs> when you come here, oh, my God. <laughs> I don't see why if, like... I'm I'm younger than the person and like the person is willing. If I'm yeah, younger, it doesn't I matter. Want to, I want to pay my bills. There's an older person that wants to pay my bills. Let's go. It's math. Then mathics. the older person wants. You said it's math. the math is math. In two plus two <laughs> equals four. As in, like I don't understand. It makes sense. He wants company. You want money. Both of you get on as people. It's not like he's your enemy. He's cool. You're cool. Like I don't Let's know. Is it, because, is it because we're not married? Like. Because like people, just the word, just the contract. Date, people date. <laughs> people mean? date people that are way older than them. Yeah, and I don't understand why. Like, I just don't get why it's frowned upon. Obviously, like underage stuff is problematic. Yes, that is weird. Like, grooming and stuff. Please, like grooming. You can have a sugar baby that is like three years younger than you. Your age, even. Like, come on. I mean, it's, it's I the dynamic, not the age. Sugar baby adjacent or something like that. Could you be a sugar? Like, mm-hmm. like yeah. I could, I would love that. 
it's fucked up, but I understand sugar daddies. I would I love somebody that I don't have to talk to. just spread across my face. <laughs> <laughs> somebody I, mean, just I definitely can pay them. Fuck me nice. Fuck off. I'll I pay could. for your house. I never seen. I'll pay for your clothes. I'll pay for your. Know, I don't know if I'll do that much. But don't talk to me. Yeah. It depends on how much I have. If I have a shit ton of money, imagine me not having in every country. But like Pablo, if I was doing that, I'll Escap- definitely Estaban. use. I'll use the person to catch crews. <laughs> yeah, well done. Like, I can That's when I would say, finally try pegging. That's that, when I would try pegging. Oh, Bend over. Dance. dance. Dance for me. Dance for your uncle. <laughs> hey, God. I just say, oh, no. I just say, hey, come, why? come here, come here, come yeah, here. Yeah, taste pictures for Instagram. Mama, will you come here? Come, come, come and do TikTok dance for me. Yes. <laughs> hey. 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 Come I'll and do. dance. Ah, wow. When my friends come, 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 you come over. Kong. Hello. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, yeah, me, come out. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bring that your shirt, nigga, the blue one. <laughs> come and dance oh, for my I'll day. Say, no, 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 no. You know that there was one oh, set no, I ordered it. for you. Yes. When I was ordering the set, this yes. is what I ordered this for. You mean you mean this is the ugly set you picked? You mean no, I don't like when you're when you I can't see your knees. Why do you cover your knee? <laughs> it's too long. <laughs> Honestly, I will be horrible. Oh, oh. I will be insane. But you know what? Horrible. That boy will never suffer anything he like. I buy yeah. it for him. Anything yeah. he need. Yeah. Auntie, I want Bugatti. Take it, take it. Drive around. No. You want me to snap you on it? Oh yeah, go and pose. Go and pose. Yeah, me smile will... where? Uh-uh. <laughs> I swear. I'm I hate sorry. that you're calling him Yemi. Yeah, it's it's <laughs> irritating me so much. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, if that's what floats my boat at that time and I can afford it, and I'm not hurting anybody, then why the fuck not? Um, I think people think that. Because of how you're raised, like your physical, your emotional, like spiritual, psychological, your whole orientation, because you were raised to think that way, you think that that is literally the only way to live. Yeah. And like you're doing yourself a huge disservice. I'm not saying like go crazy, or I beg, or no be me talk am. but like I feel like crazy, it's go good crazy. to explore your talk. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it's good to just explore things, you know. If you've always dated guys that were older than you, sometimes try and date a guy that's younger. Yeah. You know, take you him on a date. It, do it. Buy now, him some. It, it's, it's, it, it, I have a question. It feels feel sunnish like for everybody in life, especially in Buhari's economy, the world, there's war, oil, foil prices everywhere. Like, life is dynamic. Since that's tough. What is the price that you'd be like, you know what? I will be a sugar baby. If you want me to bend, I will bend. I have a price. Everybody has a price. You have a price. I do, Everybody but I don't think I should say my price on camera. How low is your fucking price? What's your price? It's not low. It's high. It's high. It's it's not, you're pretty much asking me my punching price. <laughs> 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 okay, ballpark, ballpark. I don't know. I wouldn't, I'd rather not say. Mine is even more. So now I feel cheap. <laughs> Mine is a lot and Honestly. it comes with benefits too like yeah i mean like there has to be a yearly plan <laughs> like yeah like okay so okay but it wouldn't be like honestly i'm not looking for too much i don't want to relax i'll be taken care of i'm looking for a lot do you know the kind of money that do you know the kind of the kind of money that i want if i was like the kind of money that i want <laughs> Maybe watch it. Somebody may see and say, Is that it? Is DM that us and it'll be fine. I have arms and be Australian. DM. They have to toast me still. That's how they will start. Okay. Then they will move from okay, there. Okay, fair. Okay, like, they might I mean, email. Come. I don't know how they will come. These niggas have to know that I'm the prize, boo. In me, I'm the prize. You know, I don't. Yeah. yeah so don't. if I had to put a price on it, it would be pretty high. It would definitely not be in Naira. 100 percent there's um, no point please anybody that's asking amount of money no. it'll be like a little like kind of winning okay okay okay. I if like i that. want to actually like prize it to that yeah. like i have the possibility of getting the bar yeah it'll be a little like stuff something like that yeah on D. <laughs> i swear <laughs> it'll be a little like stuff i just get all my entire family like just everybody set up yeah and there hmm. we go. Honestly, I don't I'm think... I'm telling you. And I think... Don't I like stop my family like, members on the road. They say, what do you do for a living? My, my daughter. You know, she, <laughs> she won the lotto. <laughs> like, everybody will say, it will be, not, it will be in the papers even. Save <laughs> 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 for life. My mom is going to kill me if she ever watches this episode. Everybody has a right. Nobody can actually judge this conversation. She I'm so won sorry. The because especially in this economy, in this world right now, I don't care what country you are in, no matter what you are, no... 
it, there's a price that you will happily accept from any gender 100%. if it means you can realize your nerves. You know, you and know just these random things that you do the road that they ask, will you sleep will you sleep with the same sex for a certain amount of money? One guy they asked him, he said, ah. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know. Love story. <laughs> the nigga said he would. He said, ah, I will forget it in the money. <laughs> <laughs> Because it's true, last last you use the body That's that you just chop, earned chop clean to dry your tears. I can't believe I did it. Yeah, just clean with dollars. Uh, yeah. Oh no. Yeah, I think so too. Like no. I just feel like as if. But my like moral is good as it be, so don't listen to me. I don't know. Uh, like yeah, <laughs> you see, yeah, I feel like hunger has not really wired you. If like you see the possibility, you know, honestly, sometimes I, it's not even just like of hunger. Also, yourself like, and you're just like nah, I've just for the experience. I mean. Have I been spoiled rotting? Have I been flown out just recklessly? Well, you know I, I mean, it could never, be a great I've fucking time. Never done. I've actually, never done. I've not. Well, something that. Oh, I have a question, but tell me first. Tell me, ask me. What is like a hard no? That if somebody said, okay, they will match this year price. Uh-huh. This year, that's what I was going to say. They will okay. match this year, this price, no matter how high it is, millions. But they want. This and no you'll be like, you fuck off. An you fuck off. Bestiality is the That's the enough. That's the enough. I can't do fuck. No fuck with animals like that. <laughs> like, bro, which one be saying? Like. <laughs> Like, no. <laughs> I didn't expect it. But now that you see it, that makes sense. I uh, don't fuck with dogs like that. Stop it. Why do why mention dogs specifically? <laughs> because I've seen stories of like people having sex with German shepherds. What? Yeah, like on TikTok. You people have fucking dogs. <laughs> <laughs> they are. Some baby person story about how like she got trapped in like her sugar daddy's house and what like he let like like yeah like he trapped her in the house and like he let a dog loose on her <laughs> <So> <laughs> why is she coming she's traumatized yeah like it was so scary was really and the scary. dogs raped her instead of biting her what <laughs> kind of holy <laughs> animal like he told her that like she should she should fuck the dog yes how do you even fuck a dog dog like, dog is that <laughs> oh my god <laughs> You're not good. You're not good. <laughs> Sorry, we've gone off tangent because it's taken a while to. No, no, no. <laughs> we've not gone off Fuck. tangent because all our favors now. <laughs> it's true. It might be someone's king. Imagine it's you go true. somewhere, you're thinking, ah, this guy's going to run so and so pee for me. You get there the next thing, he release a German shepherd on your ass. $200 million. <laughs> Fuck that dog. Uh, Will you do it? That's just for you. Okay. <laughs> I can't fucking dog do. I will live with the trauma forever. I don't think any amount of therapy will I personally, that. the moment to be like, sir, please. <laughs> go cook you. How? Oh, no. How do I? St- I don't know how to begin. Oh my god, there are tears no. in my eyes. Right. You me? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think. I don't think. Um, I don't think. I, I, don't, I don't fuck with that. Um, yeah, okay. Okay. <laughs> No matter the amount, like my life is not that bad. <laughs> you know? Yes, I will say that. Like it's not that bad. It's Fair not that deep. Like, like Fair free. Enough. Um, I don't think I can be shot on either. I was going to say scat, and that hope anything with poop. Let's not do this. Also, bestiality. Not yeah, I agree. Mm. Necro. I don't fuck with necrophilia. A lot of things, man. P. Uh, maybe P. Not P. I don't know. Oh, like the P in on me? Uh, no, I, I wouldn't mind P. I could do P for two hundred million dollars. I they P on me? P on me? <laughs> it's not bad. <laughs> I told you million dollars a lot of money. You buff now. <laughs> you <laughs> will you, will you I can't lie. I would have. Man, this life will. is tough. Oh, sometimes. You can afford as many baths as you want. Yeah. So like, probably buy some new skin like, if I, I just want. Think, it just, it just, I just hate mm. that Like, there's always this sort of dehumanizing factor about it. Yeah. Like, if it's transactional, if people agree yeah. and it's like, it's like, okay, 
with like BDSM, when people have like a dorm and sub relationship, mm-hmm. they are not like to them. It's not like okay, this is my superior in any way. It's like we both agreed to do this yeah. thing. This person yeah. takes care of me this way. Yeah. I take care of their own need yeah. to fulfill this desire this mm-hmm. way. That's how it should be. But Nigerian men take it as a yeah, you are a do. dog. They really do. It should be transactional. It, it should, should be. always be transactional. If it's like not always, oh sorry, shit, my bad. It shouldn't always be transactional. If, it, if everybody, like, if it's consensually yeah, transactional, I think I think if it's transactional, it doesn't have to become like dehumanizing and yeah. like insulting or whatever. Yeah. But like, I mean, to each their own. I just I feel get people like, that are squirmish about it. I'm squirmish about it because of my power thing. But like, if you're not, um, yeah. I don't. I wouldn't. I've never tried to do like dom, like a dom and sub type scenario. But if I would have tried to, I would definitely be the dom. I would. I would love to be a dom, so much. Yeah, definitely would not want to be a sub. <laughs> I feel like someone can tell me do like, like, subbing no. every now and then. It's, it's like, like you do it yourself. <laughs> well, that's the thing. I'd be like a stubborn like sub. So I'd be like no. So they would like punish me. Like what kind of punishment? What kind of punishment? <laughs> <laughs> That we act at the same time. <laughs> what kind of punishment? So like, I try like once or twice, but dumb. Ah, uh, if this doesn't work, if this career doesn't work, at writing this podcast yeah. life, you know, like, you I'm going to be dumb for that, like politicians in Nigeria. I'll flog the shit out of all your faves. Mm. I think it's a, it could be because they like it. Imagine like walking on people's. Please bars. don't mention anybody's name before I no, no, have no, a seizure on this episode. <laughs> <laughs> um but yeah i think um the older you get or like the more exposed you get the more you realize that favors from people in general is a thing i do favors for my friends all the time mm. my friends do favors favors for me all the time um and like thankfully isn't it, it, it never has to be a sexual favor <laughs> we just do based on like you know friendship and love and all that stuff but i yeah. think that um with how often men offer favors and like the terms and conditions they put towards it, they really need to stop shaming babes that accept them. They really should. Um, we were all getting on perfectly fine. So I just think like it's a bit pretentious. It is to to kind of gatekeep and make a scenario a certain way. And then when someone is taking advantage of it, you now start calling her names. It's bullshit. And t- calling her out on her name. We're all unfortunate in this situation. Yeah, I needed like, money, you needed company. Which one is that? Yeah, like, Which it's just like, if you, if you, if you funded that, trans, if you funded, fund, funded transactional sex in any way, mm-hmm. at any point, just feel like you should stop your potentials. And like, if you don't have money to afford babes that like money as well, then like, don't take it pee. Like, your tone will come. What do you think about like, what card soliciting so i think the part that guys don't like is when babes like ask if they are like give me money like i want money for this don't they say i think the ones they, they are very upset about is when babes don't men say they want don't they outrightly tell you they want to have sex with you and like because we've been conditioned to see sex as something that we give then it's why can't i think that i want fair. money from you that's fair I think I'm not saying that it's right. I'm just saying that it's, it makes sense that that's how people think, think about it that way. Yeah. Like yeah. why? If you're even if you're not a, sh- a road babe, you're married, you have a kid and everything, you always would expect your husband to give you money. Mm. And then you know that if you have sex with him, the chances of you collecting money from him are higher. Mm. Let's be honest. <laughs> so like, it's true. The receipt, the alert is just different on that transaction. Like, and I believe you just referred to an orgasm. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's all the same. Yeah, it is, though. Like, I think, I literally think, like, it's just, it just depends on. Because I think that's the part that they like to be angry at. Because when they're just giving. Yeah, they say, hey, she's like, a process, she she's she 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 But meanwhile, like, she was probably, it's usually the most. I don't know. Yeah, she was probably going through it, doing what you wanted. So yeah, everybody like, was working. <laughs> I just think that like people should just like <laughs> to each their own. To each their fucking. If own. favors from men is what works for you, Being I can't. I can't be the life around each other. But my problem is there's a lot of them that I find that okay, they're taking favors from men, but then they're not using it to do anything. Get land. 
Can you know, like, land. invest? Who are you to tell them to spend their money? Please, now, because sometimes they just buy bag. Then when the man goes, they will not be on the on TikTok. Hungry, then, yeah, please, go fund me. Is uh, on. Oh my God. <laughs> you know? Do something now. Invest. No, I don't, I'm not telling you yeah. how to spend your money, but like, look into grain it. Don't just buy, buy Birkins. Or oh, buy Birkins. Yeah, at least it's also invest. The Birkin itself is the original. You, oh. <laughs> Another problem. Please let's not even <laughs> talk about it like that. Let's not even talk about. I hate how Birkins have become in Lagos, but let's not even get into that. Let's right not now. talk about that. Let's not talk about that. Please. But like invest, invest. Just try your best because you know it's a job. You should think of it like a job. You're fucking a man. That's your nine to five. His dick. So you know, save, get a retirement plan. Forty one k. What do they call it? Four hundred one k. You are a nuisance. I swear. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just think I think also <laughs> if he rise, everybody should just do what rocks their boots. Me, I'm that's all I always say. That's the news message I always preach. If you like favors from men, go for it. We if you don't like favors from men. Relatable. Good luck to you and Anyone. this Lagos yeah, in. Especially <laughs> this, uh, with this economy, honestly. <laughs> Feel no no judgment Jesus whatsoever. <laughs> do what you need to do. If you are wasting time feeling shame when Buhari is trying to kill you, you are silly. There's no time to feel shame. Do what you are Dola, doing. With Dola your is kids. like 600 and something now. Right? And you are wasting time thinking of what your uncle in the village is thinking about yeah. you. You do what you need to do if that's what you like. Don't worry about that. Yeah. Go for it. I think you should do what makes you happy. Don't my, hurt anybody. My mom is going to be so sad. <laughs> so my mom will be so disappointed. She said, I can't believe she's talking. You know, talk- my mom, my mom, my mom will say yes. I can't believe she's talking like my that. My mom believes in a woman that, you know, has economical sense. <laughs> As she said, maths. Well, everybody will be all right. We're teaching education. So Math- maths. Yeah, I'm just Calculate. teaching. I'm just teaching. Like, my, like when I was growing up, when the entire, the, the sound, the motto of my childhood, you could say, the thing that my dad constantly said to me and told me that I should never forget is that in life, mm-hmm. I would always have a choice. If I don't have a choice, that means I'm dead. That's slavery. Now, dead, yes. the choice, <laughs> <laughs> now the choice you make is definitely what makes you who you are. Yeah. But you do have a choice. Yeah. You can actually choose to do the right thing or the wrong thing. You can go left, you can go right, up, down. You shall have a choice. You can't say, oh, I did it because I had no choice. No, nah, nigga. You always had you a had choice. You had a choice. You could have said no. And you like just hustle. made a certain choice based on, I don't know, fear, whatnot. Yeah, like, you but you made choice. it. You made it. And like, like adults, I guess that's what adulting is. Accepting your, being, taking responsibility for your actions. And I really hate it. Seeing it. Do you know too. how terrifying it is knowing that every decision you make like could either kill you Yeah, I was thinking one you. day. Like, ah, so like, like, so like, we just did like this. Guy. Unsupervised. Guy. <laughs> Guy. I literally always, but I literally always tell my friends, my family, you don't leave me unsupervised. I don't know. It's I'm just bad. learning. It's but bad. like, I should know. <laughs> Let's see. We'll see how it yeah, goes. the moral um, of the story is supervise yourself. It sucks, but you have to do it. Yeah, if I will accept, so if I if I do accept favors from men, I do. Um, Apparently. depends on what I need. But uh, no, if he was he was well, doing something, so I was yeah. vibrating. <laughs> uh, you're strong. Fuck you, stupid. Don't kill me. I'm um, saying so yeah. I was saying that. Um, I don't know even. I'm not even say that, but I would say that I do accept favors from everybody in my life. Doesn't have to necessarily be a man. Um, I accept favors from my friends even more. Like I'm more likely to accept a favor from a friend than like say, yeah, let me ask receive from this man. Are you shading me that I should give you because you are looking me dead? In my <laughs> no, I'm joking. <laughs> I'm not shading you for that. At least not right now. <laughs> I can't be shading you for something else. But yeah, that and like I, I just sort of think um we should be a lot a lot less judgy. What do you? Nobody judge. Do what you can do, don't do what I feel you like can every do day and I leave see others. On you are a Nollywood actress. You've only acted ten films. But you have car and you have house. How are you able to have car? I How mean are you that's able to- a whole other combo because I work in the industry. I used to do budgets, so I ain't gonna talk about that. And that brings us to the end of the episode. Before they but abuse me. Here, here is my here is my For unpopular the opinion. Me. Who told you? Nobody told me that. That it is from acting. I didn't when I posted the car, 
What a you know the baby in wait, you know wait, the baby wait. in Seinfeld. No, you know the baby in Seinfeld, mm-hmm. the main baby. You know mm-hmm. she's like a fucking billionaire. Mm-hmm. Like her dad was a billionaire. Mm-hmm. So I don't ju- like I don't know where actors get their money from. Wait, 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 I don't wait. know. So My when I see some, is... but there's some that I know. Can I ask you a question? When yes. I posted the car or the house, yeah. did I post? But that's why I said that's why I said it's the end of the, the episode. The I said I'm not part. Post. I said I'm not talking about. This. Okay, here's my own devil's advocate opinion. Whenever these people post their car or their house, they post to so God be the glory. Acting bought me this car. Thank God, car acting dro- drove me to this ride. Nobody ever posts that. The they just say. I'd look <laughs> <laughs> They just say new new house. On thank Instagram. God. Small girl, big on Twitter. Girl. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, on what, everything Tamara is saying <laughs> <laughs> because they were in trouble this night. That was <laughs> maybe we should talk about it when we're done. <laughs> I I fucking hate you. You can also email us at <laughs> so okay, you can find us at, at Loki. <laughs> you get out. <laughs> <laughs> You can find us at Loki Relatable Pod on Twitter, Instagram, you and TikTok. You can also post John three sixteen in your bio when it's not your job that got you that car. And I still love you and respect you. Everybody, do what you gotta do. <laughs> Why you dodgy bullets? Why you doing matrix? Bye bye, <laughs> Tamara. <laughs> That, Bible verse that was oddly specific. They always use John 3.16. For God so loved the world. What does that have to do with you popping for God so loved that pussy? According to this. Ah, moving wild. Blasphemy. Cut. <laughs> <laughs> we have to end that episode properly. You can listen to us on Spotify or Apple Music. Why, why do you do it like a sexy, sexy little You can listen to hey us guys, on Spotify. If you're looking for where to listen to the Loki Relatable Pod, <sighs> you, can f- <laughs> <laughs> you can find us on Spotify, Spotify. Apple Music, Apple Podcasts. Apple Podcasts. Podcast. Um, where else do they watch podcasts? Wherever they watch podcasts. Wherever you want to listen or watch And it. then we're also going to be on the matter youtube page yeah you can look at it. so you can see that we're actually fine we're exactly. not just two ugly girls that are chatting shit even exactly. if we're ugly so <laughs> yeah but like i mean and even even though still listen double still the watching. pleasure double, double the fun <laughs> song stresses can't listen <laughs> come yeah. on see a lot of um and yeah let us know what you think um like we said multiple times before it's low-key Relatable pod on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. 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 <laughs> Until next time. Bye bye.